Hey guys, this is Booligan with Airsoft Retreat, BooliganAirsoft.com and Airsoft Insider Magazine. Today we're going to be taking a look at this ZTAC Bowman style headset as well as this ZTAC wireless push to touch system. Now these are available at airsoftpeak.com which is who sent these over to me for review. Now the headset itself is pretty inexpensive coming in at only about 24 bucks. It's available in a variety of patterns and colors. Um, they're all kind of hydro dipped, water transferred out of there. This is the multicam model and they have an abundance of different types of headsets available. So if you don't like the Bowman, you want something more like a Compact 2, they've got options for you. Now the headset itself is pretty comfortable. The straps I'm not, uh, not terribly keen on. Um, the material itself is a little bit rough. Um, and I'll probably, after a day of a uh, long day of skirmishing with this thing, will probably have a nice red mark across my forehead. Um, the mesh on top is nice, um, and you can use this under mini helmets, um, different hats, and stuff like that. So it is a relatively low profile comm system. You got a boom mic that has a metal um, corrugated uh, core protector and arm. I don't know what you want to call that, um, but it is very flexible and you can put it kind of wherever you want. Now it connects to your radio using this large plug. Now this large plug won't plug into your radio. This large plug is designed to plug into a push to touch system such as the ZTAC system that we're looking at today. The ZTAC system is pretty damn cool for a couple of reasons. One, you can get it for pretty much any major radio. They have it for, and I have to check my list for this so I don't miss anything, Midland, which is what I run, Motorola talk about Motorola two-way Kenwood Yesu and Icom radios and they're all about 39 bucks for the push to touch system with this push to touch system you have two buttons that you can use the first one this big one right here the second one which is what makes this thing so cool is this little guy right here that you see on my echo one AR57 this is a wireless push to touch system which means by pushing this button right here, I'm activating my radio. The fact that I'm able to do that, keep my hands on my weapon at the ready and still be able to activate my comms is fantastic. And for 39 bucks, the whole set, like I said, 24 bucks for the headset, 39 bucks for the uh, push to touch, really can add to your tactical capabilities on the field. Um, the switch itself is basically made of rubber and it kind of just slips onto the rail. It doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere and it actually acts as a nice little thumb rest, especially when using something like the uh, Strike Cobra Grip here. It's a nice place to rest my thumb. Um, it'll fit on pretty much any 12, 20 millimeter rail and it has its own button battery. Um, they are pre-linked together. I don't have the exact numbers as far as how many channels you can run. <clears throat> However, the packaging says that you can run multiple versions of these things on the same team, on the same field, and you won't get cross chat or anything like that or cross activation of the push to touch. Um, so overall, um, if you're looking for a calm setup, you want something that is stylish, relatively comfortable. Like I said, uh, next time I go with the headset, I'll probably go with something like a Comtac 2. This isn't bad. I mean, it's a proper replica of a Bowman. Um, but it's just not the most comfortable setup, especially with this, uh, this uh, front strap here and my very delicate pasty white skin. Um, sound quality is good. I haven't had any issues at all with anything not working. Um, this has, its, has a battery as well. This runs off of a single CR123A. Um, you can run a rechargeable in it and it'll last you a pretty damn long time. Has a built-in um, low battery warning. If this starts blinking red, then this battery's low. If it starts blinking green, then the uh, remote battery is low. Um, but overall, like I said, if you're looking for a calm setup, definitely check out Airsoft Peak. Um, they are located in China, but they got this stuff to me within a couple of days. I mean, it got to me faster than I've received stuff from back east in the US. So they certainly, certainly should be considered if you are looking for accessories or like I said, pretty cool calm setup like this. So. Be sure to check out all our reviews, of course, Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Retreat. And as always, thanks for watching.